I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I didn't mean to. You look great today. You sure fooled Drew. Anybody could fool him. You know, last year I caught him undressing my Barbie doll. Aren't I ever going to grow up? Maggie, you're 12. Next October, you'll be 13, then you'll be 14. That's the way it goes. I don't mean age. I mean women stuff. Ooh. Don't make fun. Mom never got to that part. Well, I don't know who's going to explain it to you now. I mean, Dad's no good. All he told me was, don't be embarrassed, son. Just don't read Playboy right before you go to bed. Hi. Hi, Pop. I take it uh, supper's ready? Yep. Hi, Max. Hi. So how was work, Pop? Oh, uh, <laughs> positively stimulating, as usual. I take it that's for me? Absolutely. Thanks. You're not too tired, are you, Dad? Again? You broke it again? I didn't break it. It just sort of fell off. Mags, I don't understand how that doorknob keeps coming off. I mean, <laughs> that's the fourth time this month, you know? Thank you, Lord, for this food. She dances with me. What? So when I finally get asked to dance, I'll know what to do. My sister dances with Doris. She's the original slam dancer. He should talk, Daddy. He's going to dance on TV. Maggie! Care to clone me in? I auditioned for a dance contest. And he made the finals. Huh. And then they choose the winners on DTV. Well, what's the prize? You get to be a regular on dance TV. Uh, what's this have to do with trade school? Look, um, you don't want college. Well, that's okay with me, but, uh... I was in a hurry to get going when I was your age, too. But you gotta have a skill, Jeff. You gotta start earning a living sooner or later. But trade school was good enough for my father, and it was good enough for me. That's not funny. Don't throw a mental, Dad. Well, I liked it better when you kids used to humor me. Hold my calls. That's affirmative. The credit card does work on the bathroom lock. Zachary, you're a pervert. Will you get out of here? Telephone. It's a boy. Want Dad take a message? I still can't write, you know. Shh. Um, hi. Dad, I can't believe you remember my phone number. You still have home with you, young lady? Yeah, um... Who is it? It's just my friend Lynn. Lynn? Oh, great. We'll make it short. Mm -hmm. I'll just, I'll be a second. Hi, I'm back. Look, meet me at the rehearsal hall at 9 o'clock. I'll bring the music. Hey, watch out! Goodbye! I don't know if I can... Sorry, I needed the phone. What for? The Cabbage Patch Mothers having a PTA meeting? You're cranky. Whenever Emily Holland's brother is cranky, it means a girl dumped him. You want to get dumped? I'll dump you. No, Dad! Up. Enter. Just checking. How about a little status report? Algebra. Um, almost done. English. One chapter left. Biology. Finished. History. No homework. So you up to the French and Indian War yet? Boy, what a little light artillery could have done there. Well, I know you'd have it under control. Lights out at 10 sharp. Good night, honey. Practice your moves. Give me a call. First, it was in Hyde Bedroom. Then it was in Seven Eleven by your house. Then it was the George's English class. 
Only in this dream, sometimes she wasn't Mr. George. She was that JB cheerleader who wears his almost see-through underpants. Jules, can you be quiet for two seconds? Yeah, sure. You probably meant more than two seconds. I mean, two seconds is like nothing. One, two, there, that's two seconds. I hate it when you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad mood. Sweetheart, when are you gonna buy yourself a nice, sexy Catholic school uniform? Hey, get off of my case, all right? Come on, Patty, we're not welcome here. Uh, not so fast. Patty and I have a little business to attend to. The term papers are in. Eisenhower, Johnson, Kennedy. Kennedy? Oh, he was so cute. How much? A date with me. I'll take Johnson. <laughs> Hey, I heard those Catholic school girls really put out. Hey, hey, Jeff's very touchy this morning. Must have had a rough night breaking in his new dance partner. <laughs> yeah? That's what you think. He didn't even see her. She stood him up. and a place for calypso music, young lady. Open your hymnals to page 57. We will now sing Amazing Grace. Lindstone will join us and sing it like an American. So where were you last night? I waited out there for an hour and a half. I tried to tell you that I couldn't go, but you hung up too fast. Are you going to do homework now? That's terrific. For your information, I've just made some notes about some steps in case there's something you can't do. I can do any step you can do. Really? Because I was thinking we'd start out with something like this. Babyish, don't you think? Babyish? Look, I've been taking gymnastics and dance for 10 years. What did you have in mind? Well, I thought we could start out with something like this. Yeah. I saw that in three different videos in a Levi's commercial. Come here. Okay, come back to me now. I'm just gonna spin you out, and I want you to come back to me, all right? Out and back. Out, back, come back no, to me. No, it's not right. You always gonna wear that uniform? Look, I've got news for you. I had to stop.